Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video of Lunch and Learn. I'm Jamie Michael Joseph, Successful Business Marketing, and today being Wednesday, we are going to talk about websites. Uh, so in this video, more specifically, we're gonna talk about hosting. Uh, a couple of videos ago, I talked about uh, the three things that you need for a website, and that is your domain, the address that you have for your website, the hosting to put it up online, and then a builder to create the kind of website that you want. Um, so we spoke about the domain, and the kind of extension that you need. Once you have that sorted, you need to get your hosting. Now, if you went with a all-in-one package, something like Wix or Squarespace, uh, you will pay a monthly fee or a yearly fee and everything will be included. So you don't need to worry too much about sourcing your own independent uh, hosting. For me, I would do it independently and that's because it works out about the same money, if not cheaper, but you have so much flexibility and a lot of options with how you move forward and what you do with your website. Uh, so a few things about hosting. You could do a Google search for hosting. The domain providers uh, provide hosting as well now. So GoDaddy, one and one all those kind of things will give you hosting. Um, in my experience, shop around, see what's out there. You can pay whatever you want. So you could pay from the likes of three pound a month, um, you know, 30 pounds a year through 200s uh, if you want. What happens is you get to, there's a lot of um, companies that will give you a, an introductory offer. And I'll give you an example, about six years ago, there's one in America called Hostgator. This was a common one that people were using. And uh, I went with one of these, it was, uh, you know, something ridiculous, like 30 pounds a year. The second year, they wanted about 200 pounds. Okay, so just, just be a bit careful that, you know, what you're signing to isn't going to hammer you next year. But you can find a, a local provider. I, I use a couple in the UK. I'm about to move over to just one in the UK where customer service has been excellent but it's also affordable and it can obviously increase with different websites that you have or or what or the kind of usage that, that you have as well. So I just want to tell you a couple of things to, to watch out for. If you're using um, like an agency or someone is doing it for you, watch out for what they're telling you that isn't always true, okay? So there will be the likes of saying a free SSL certificate and this would cost, cost X amount of money, uh, but we're giving it to you for free. But that's not the case. Most providers now will give you an encryption that lets you have the padlock on for Google to help with your SEO and, and look more secure. We'll talk about that in another video. But anyway, just watch out for that one or people, especially when they're trying to charge you. Uh, I, I know a guy with his business and it was coming through at 300 pounds a year for this SSL certificate. It wasn't an SSL certificate. They were just putting a padlock onto the site to make it look secure. You don't need to pay for this. You know, if you set up your own hosting, this will probably be included. Email addresses as well. So, you know, you can go to a provider and you can pay X amount per month per email address. When you set up your own hosting, you can create as many emails as you want, really. Um, you get a certain kind of bandwidth, a certain disk space, and you get to use up to that uh, before you have to pay more. But all for like three pounds a month, all this is included. You can set it up. It's, it's not that difficult to do either. Plenty of videos. We have videos as well that talk through it. But you don't have to you know, you don't have to think that it's, it's too um, too complicated for you to do yourself. It is quite easy to do. But you can set up that, set up your, set up your um, domain, set up your hosting, and then you're good to go. You can install WordPress from your hosting panel. So when you get your hosting, you have a login panel and it's got all the stuff in there that you can create um, and get up and running. But just to, to make you aware, like I said, there are certain things that people try to catch you out and they charge you more. If you're looking for a provider, get in touch. I'll show you, I'll tell you who I go with and in, make that introduction. But it's um, it's just one of those things that when you kind of own what what you're working with, you have that flexibility and you have those options. You're not waiting on someone else to do it, or waiting on you know if someone puts the price up and you have to pay that, or you're just you know constricted with the like like I said with the likes of Wix and WordPress. They're they're great at what they do. I they've got a whole lot better. But I would still move away and manage everything myself. So look, I hope that helps. I hope that gives you some knowledge. Just when it comes to hosting, not to get, not, not to be fooled, not to think that it's going to cost you lots of money. It's hosting 30, 50 pounds a year. Yeah, that's a really good price. And there's lots of people out there that are giving you this. And to be honest, you know, that 30, 50 pounds a month compared to the ones that are charging a couple of hundred pounds a month, there isn't any difference. They're all providing the same thing. Uh, if you're in the UK, look to get a UK provider. It will save a bit of speed. Um, and that will help as well with your, your Google uh, ranking. We'll talk about that in another video. But look, I hope that helps. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow when we talk about traffic. Traffic always helps. We want to get traffic to our website, and we'll talk then. Thanks, then.